If you're an artist, it's likely that you've been fed the dream that you can download a vocal preset pack and sound identical to some other artist and you just were left disappointed. And let me tell you, not only is it the fault of the person selling the preset pack, but it's also your fault. We've been marketed that we can just take a preset, throw it on our voice and sound like the next Travis Scott and that's not true. And the issue resides in both the marketing and you as the consumer when it comes to these presets and the misunderstanding that's been created. And before we get into the dark side of vocal presets, if you could drop a like so that this can get to as many artists as possible that maybe have the same problem, that would be amazing and I appreciate you. And look, if you're easily offended, please just click off of this video because what I'm gonna tell you is something that most artists probably don't wanna hear, especially beginners. And at any point, if you feel like you agree or disagree, drop a comment below and let's talk about it. And otherwise, if you do make it through this video, you're gonna have a better understanding of vocal presets and I'll point you in the direction of some reliable tools to help you get the sound that you're looking for. Now a huge thing I believe is that in order to use presets, you should probably understand them. There are two undeniable misconceptions about presets in this day and age that I wanna quickly share with you. And the first is that they can make you sound like another artist and I wanna explain both sides of the ball here. You'll often see ads about vocal presets and the thing is is that they're not a voice changer. And if you think they are, it's likely that you just don't understand your digital audio workstation, which is what you record in and mix in. You have to realize that these presets are built with the plugins that already come with your audio software. Now this isn't to say that presets aren't worth having because it's a huge exchange of value. The person is putting their time into making these vocal chains that sound good, which ultimately you don't yet have the skills to do. And I'm also not saying it's bad for a beginner to purchase presets due to that lack of understanding, but I think they should be purchased with the intention of learning how to use them and learning how to use their plugins, or at least alongside the process of you learning. Because of course, we wanna make a high quality sound right now that will impress our friends and family, but understand that while you're using these presets, you should be opening up the vocal chains and understanding what the creator of the presets were going for and which plugins made what specific sound that you like in your vocal when you apply that preset. And on the flip side, a lot of the companies that are offering presets have this promise that you'll sound professional, but you need to understand that your vocal performance needs to be professional alongside of those professional presets. If you're recording on a complete potato that does not sound good, unfortunately presets cannot make you sound good. Understand that presets are increasing the frequencies, the dynamic, and the loudness of the vocal that's already provided. So if a poor vocal is provided, a good vocal mix will just lift up those flaws. The same could be said for something like autotune. If you're somebody who tries to sing, but you're not very good yet, autotune will actually just make you sound worse. If you've had confusion with vocal presets and you want a pack that overall sounds good for most genres of music, I do suggest my favorite pack, Vocal Sauce Volume 3. You can download that using my first link below and you can use my code Joey at checkout for 30% off. It's an amazing pack because it wasn't created with the intention of making you sound like a specific artist. It was made to be affordable and for most artists to be able to find at least a couple vocal chains that they'll use for the rest of their lives. And you'll undoubtedly find something that works for you. Here's a couple before and afters if you guys wanna hear. I don't wanna make you sad. I don't wanna make you sad no more. I just wanna make you laugh till your lungs get sore. I don't wanna make you sad. I don't wanna make you sad no more. I just wanna make you laugh till your lungs get sore. Your negativity came mess up my day. I started with a penny, now I'm balling like her the way. How many times I Your negativity came mess up my day. I started with a penny, now I'm balling like her the way. How many times I gotta tell you? Of course you can see that the quality before is clearly not as good as the quality after. But understand that these samples provided were recorded with a decent microphone in a well-insulated environment and things like that. Understand that these presets are created with a project file of an artist that sounds nothing like you because every single human being has a different dynamic and tonality to their vocals. Even if the artist makes similar music, you should always be tweaking these presets to your own taste. And this is why I suggest that you learn from the presets so that you understand what each plugin is doing for you. If you're absolutely clueless and you just put them on, it might sound good, but it could probably sound better. And I'm sure an engineer might find some flaws in it and give you some feedback that you probably weren't hoping for. Unless a preset is made from your specific project file, it cannot be completely tailored to you and you will have to make adjustments. And this is one of the biggest complaints that I see from artists is that they don't like the sound of a preset, but then you can put that same preset on somebody else and it sounds fantastic. Odds are if you find a really good preset pack that has really high reviews, the mixes are not bad, it's your voice that's bad, or your recording is bad. 
As an artist, it's important that we take accountability and that we understand if something is not going well, we need to make changes through that adversity and fix whatever the problem is because the market decides whether your music sounds good or bad. You don't get to decide that. And this is why it's vital that you have unbiased, constructive criticism from other artists. If you're not willing to accept that constructive criticism, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to grow, increase your audio quality, and ultimately even use presets in general. It's very important to balance the ego as an artist, and I know this has nothing to do with presets, but it's something that is important and it's a factor within using presets. To finalize all of these thoughts, Presets are an amazing addition to your arsenal when it comes to being an artist, but make sure that you're using them with the correct intentions. And don't think that you're gonna be able to sound like Drake if you're not Drake and don't sound like Drake. I feel like this is a very beginner type mindset and maybe some people have been tricked with the marketing, but make sure you do your own research and understand what are these plugins doing and understand that vocal presets are not a voice changer. They enhance the signal that is already provided by you as the recording artist. Again, if you guys are interested in a super reliable pack, my favorite pack of all time, I highly suggest you try out Vocal Sauce Volume 3. You will not be disappointed and it'll be the last time that you ever have to hit up a vocal engineer because of your frustration of how your sound is and that lack of quality that you're looking for. If you guys like content like this, I post four to five times a week. Consider subscribing, it supports the channel, and I'm always gonna bring you more content. Now that you understand the mixing side of vocal presets, I highly suggest that you watch my video on mastering. I explain everything about it, and I highlight the easiest possible way for you to master your own music, even though mastering takes years of training. Thanks for watching.